everyone. I am Shravanti Pedduri working in ENHICQ Private Limited as Senior IAM Engineer. In this, we are going to see about Identity Now Automation Testing Demo. The agenda of this demo is to show the execution of the automation of Identity Now test cases. Let's quickly open the Eclipse and run the test cases. I have opened the Eclipse. Uh, to create the test case test script first we have to click on file and then if we click on new we can create the package in the package we have to create class so like as I have created a uh, few of the test cases uh, in which I have written the test scripts first we are going to test with login with multiple test data in this, we are going to check login page with positive test data and negative test data. So, we are going to run the test case and check the results, whether the results are uh, coming as per the expectations or not. So, let's run the test case. So it is opening the Chrome browser and through which it will open the sale point. First it is giving first uh, test data that is positive test data. It should successfully open the portal so first test data is success then it is going for the next test data that is negative test data now it should not open the page and it should show error message So it is given the username and password. So as it is uh, negative username and password, so it has given authentication failed or unauthorized location. So the whole test case is driven automatically. Only uh, by clicking the run option, we are able to um, run the test case without any human intervention. So, so let us uh, check the result. So total test cases run is 2, pass is 1 and failure is 1. So if we check here, so the passed test case is this one and the negative test case also is showing here. So this is first test data. Now let's check with screenshot for every test data we need to have uh, the documents whether it is passed or failed so we should have reports of that test data and so every time we have to take the screenshots so we can write test scripts even for taking the screenshot so if we run this we can able to take the screenshot of the test case which we are running The sale point is opening. First it is logging in and the portal will open. 
so now here i wrote the test script to take the screenshot it will capture the screenshot of this login page so let's see uh, whether the screenshot is recorded or not so this is the screenshot where it is recorded so it captured the screenshot so the second test case is also success test case success next we are going to check with any lm user for onboarding any contractor user or a partner user we will do that in two ways one is by giving filling the form of that any lm so uh, that also we can do automatically so i am running this uh, uh, test case let's check whether the user is created or not automatically so it is entered the strong authentication also now with the test script it is opening any lm form so the account is created successfully we can see here the account is created successfully so this is uh, about any lm form the user is created automatically and one more way to create any lm user is to uh, by a csv file so even writing the csv file we can do that by using data driven framework so the next test case is all about that so we here we have given the total script to run uh, or um, by that the excel file is filled automatically first we have to give the the names then uh the file data will be uh, automatic way it will be created so let's run this test case and check whether the excel sheet is uh, filling the details automatically so i am opening so here i have given the path so, so let's check whether it is created or not so i am opening that
so here it is created so the details got created successfully uh, for testing purpose I have given the few of the attributes so if we need more attributes we can give according to that and the test script we can prepare according to that so this is all about writing the excel file now let's check with test connection so let's run this test case with this test case we can able to uh, test whether the source test connection is success or not it is opening the sale point here we are using chrome as browser it is successfully logged in into the portal sale point strong with the strong authentication it will now open the uh, source It is opening Active Directory source. It has clicked the test connection and the test connection status is connected. So let's check the uh, console for this. So the so the message is connected and the test case is success this is about test connection so we have successfully tested test connection and checked whether the source is connect now let's check the next uh, test case request for role so let's raise a request for role uh, and check whether the role is approved or it is showing any error so let's run this test case the sale point is opened with successful username and password Now the request center will be open and it is raising a request for sales regional. The request got submitted. Success one new request is sent. In my request, we can able to see uh, a new request raised uh, in the name of uh, Shabanti Peduri for sales regional role. Uh, so let's check whether the status is captured or not. Now the status, whether it is uh, approved or um, error, these uh, the status will be recorded and it is shown in the console tab so let's check that now as the status is contact help desk here we can able to see the uh, status here contact help desk so this is about the uh, request raised for a rule um, where if it the test case is success then the status is shown as success as uh, the status is uh, contact help desk the uh, same thing is replicated here 
now this is about request for role now if we want to check any of the attribute that also can be achieved by automation uh, attributes can also be checked um, the ou uh, the ou format uh, sam account name um, all these details all the attributes can also be checked with uh, uh, writing a script now let's run um, the check on ad distinguished name now we are checking whether the ad distinguished name is um, populating correctly or not Now it is opening identities. It will select an identity. So here I have written Adam Kennedy to check Adam Kennedy attributes. So it has opened the Adam Kennedy attributes list. It is opening the Active Directory account. So we can able to see the result here expected adou this is the expected adou and the actual adou is this as these two are similar the test case is success so in the same way we can able to uh, test for all other attributes as per the requirements mm, email attribute sam account name all these attributes can be uh, tested so this is about uh, check on uh, AD distinguished name. So in the similar way, all the uh, um, sale point related test cases uh, can be automated by writing the test script. Uh, this is all about the automation of the IDN test cases. Thank you. I hope you liked the video. Please follow ENH ICQ social media pages for more technical updates.